This is the CAT697, published by the UKCAA. It's available freely for your use. And this is my copy. And the CAT697 that we're using is actually published for the purpose of training. This document that we're using here, it is to aviation standard. This is a training publication. It's not to be used for actual flight planning. In order to use data for actual flight planning, you have to use the material pertinent to the particular aircraft that you're planning for, and that information needs to be certified and up-to-date. This one isn't up-to-date because it's used for training. We use the same material over and over again because the concepts stay the same. The method that we use for determining fuel figures that generally doesn't change. So the important thing here is to learn the technique and you can apply it to whatever aircraft that you'll be planning for in the future. This is the contents page for our CAP 697 and CAP 697 is for flight planning. Uh, it's broken into four sections. Section 1, 2, 3, 4. Section 1 is the section on general notes and that has got the introduction to the document the aircraft descriptions as well as layout of data sheets, definitions and conversions. You will be tested on definitions and conversions. You need to know these very well. You may not have a reference during your assessment. So what are in these sections? Well, the general notes remind us that this is published to support training. It's not to be used for actual flight. Um, it describes the various aircraft we will be using in this document and that is the single engine, multi-engine piston as well as medium range jet transport. It explains a little bit about the data, uh, it, it explains a little bit about the layout of the data sheets and the data sheets are basically all these charts and numbers. It has got a list of definitions. If you don't know what the definitions mean, then you won't know how to use them. We have the standard conversions. Again, you can do the conversions using a formula or you, you may use the CRP5. The conversion values will change slightly. If we want a specific number, then we might tell you specifically uh, calculate or specifically using the CRP5 derive these conversions. Then we jump into the first aircraft, and the first aircraft we look, uh, which is in section two, so uh, that was section one and section two, we jump straight into the single piston aeroplane. And it's telling us here uh, some facts about the aircraft. Again, um, MTOM, MML, again, MTOM, MLM, well, you need to know what these are, and we would get that from the definitions that are found on page 4 of the introduction. So section 2 is the layout for a single engine piston aeroplane. Then that's a couple of pages. We will then go into section 3 for the multi-engine piston aeroplane and very quickly onto section 4 medium range jet transport aeroplane. And this section, section 4, is uh, the largest section in this publication. It accounts for, I think, slightly more than half of the publication, simply because there's a lot of data. And that's what we're going to find in our CAP 697 Flight Planning Manual.